You're watching SABC News Primetime. Now in neighboring Lesotho, the Attorney General there is adamant that there's nothing wrong with him taking both King Letia III and Lesotho Prime Minister Tom Tabane to court. This after the King and the Prime Minister continued with the swearing-in of the Appeal Court President. Lesotho's Attorney General and King Letia III are on a collision course. And now the High Court will be the final arbiter in the ongoing dispute. Uh, the center of the whole thing really has got to do with the advice. This is the case that challenges the advice of the Prime Minister. Not so much, the concern is not so much with uh, what the King did or did not do, because as you know, he would be doing things through his Prime Minister. But the Prime Minister seems unfazed by the bid to challenge this decision. The, the Attorney General is, 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 I think, is out of order. I don't think, I think he's exiting his, his powers and his authority. And he, he will have to be called to order. Meanwhile, the facilitator for Lesotho, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, has welcomed the recent deployment of the SADC Electoral Advisory Council to Masiru as part of preparations for elections to be held in the Kingdom on the 28th of this month. Ramaphosa says the arrival of the council will add impetus to current preparations and efforts by the Lesotho Electoral Commission to deliver credible, free and fair elections. The election date, as proclaimed by King Letzia, was part of the Masiru Facilitation Accord, signed by all the Sutu's political parties.